Candace J. Frazier, this is my poem, Despair. You can visit the well of despair, but you can't live there. You can and must visit the well of despair along your awakening journey to become more aware. Awareness in the well creates a transformational swell. Use it to rise above so in the depths of despair you don't dwell. Use the mess and the test you know so well to be the hell, to be the ladder out of the story that you tell. Use intuition and insights to align and thrive so you can heal and live free of survive, abundant and well and into the sunset you will drive. Hi, my name is Candace Frazier, and I help survivors of childhood abuse. I help them go from depressed, anxious, and even suicidal to badass bliss and experiencing love and deep, meaningful relationships at a depth that they never knew was even possible. And how do I do this? I use my seven levers to heaven to help you get transparent, transcend the pain, and be transformed by the power of be love now, and really take back your life and create a blissed life experience. Now, abuse, it's a startling statistic, but it does not have to wreck the rest of your life. I am proof that you can triumph over anything that you think is going to be the end of you, when in actuality, it's often the beginning of a new you. Happy Now Space by Candace J. Frazier. Love over ego. Happiness resides in the now. In that now, only one thing can exist, bliss or miss. Never empty in the now because it's full of wow. The only thing I face is the emptiness of possibility, an outline to trace of what I can create in that moment. That sacred space, that is a gift, that is mine. Mine alone to keep or let ego displace. And in this place, ego has no space. As long as there is a smile upon my face, loved, safe in the divine's invisible embrace, blessed and cherished in a life full of grace. You see, life doesn't have to hurt. And ego is just there to remind you where you've gotten out of alignment and to invite you back into your inner, divine, infinite, sentient, sovereign being. Where freedom, bliss, and nothing is ever amiss because you're full of grace in divine's embrace. Choice by Candace J. Frazier. We are always one choice away from success or ruin, encouraged by thought and voice and our beliefs influence and tension of choice. Whether the energy of sadness or rejoice, we can't blame others for our beliefs creating force, no. Nor can we return with buyer's remorse that disempowered Trojan horse, no. We can only adjust our focus on an empowered course, Mm -hmm. one with lessons of mastery and beliefs on choice, where immersion amplifies your truth's voice and where beliefs create experiences of bliss and rejoice.